Hello, I'm Mary Harris Jones. I come to you today in solidarity with three goals. To educate, agitate, and organize. My first goal is to educate you about your labor history. In 1897, I addressed the Railway Union Convention and began to be known as Mother Jones by the men of the union. That summer, I assisted the efforts of a major strike of the mine workers. I was so affected that they sent me to the coal fields to sign up the miners with the union. I agitated in the anthracite fields of eastern Pennsylvania and the company towns of West Virginia, nearly anywhere coal miners Textile workers and steel workers were fighting to organize the union. Mother Jones was there. My next goal is to agitate. To that end, I would like to share with you a letter that I had written to Mrs. Potter Palmer of Chicago, Illinois. She intended to bring together the capitalist class and the working party class for a party. Her purpose was to harmonize the two by finding common ground. I credited her perfect sincerity in this matter and responded thusly, Dear Madam, I am a workman's daughter. By occupation a dressmaker and school teacher, and during this last 25 years an active worker in the organized labor movement, the enforcers of the capitalist class put me, an inoffensive old woman, in jail in West Virginia in 1902. This they did, though I have never violated the law of the land, never been tried on by a court on any charge. The capitalist class, whose representatives you will entertain, did this to me. And other lawless acts have and are being committed every hour by this same class all over this land, and they will continue to do until the working class send their representatives into the legislative halls of this nation and by law take away the power of this capitalist class to rob and oppress the workers. My final goal is to organize. The Occupy movement in this country has created their own and wisely adopted the organizational tools of other countries and other times. All is in place to succeed. It needs only your willingness to put aside your personal desires and your agendas and be open to a greater good to be shared by all. I encourage you to see each other.